Yeah, I thought I had a good day yesterday. Um, obviously, things you had to work through here and there. Um, but overall, um, probably better than I expected, being able to go out there and, and throw the football around and get the reps in that I needed to get in. One other thing. Tom Brady said something like he talked to you and gave you words of inspiration. Have you been hearing from people around the league telling you, you know, they were inspired by your grit in the last game and kind of, I don't know, giving you the speech to go forward? Yeah, a couple guys, man. Um, have for sure, but uh, yeah, I talked to, talked to Tom a little bit, and I mean, I have a good relationship with him now, and um, he, he gives me a lot of advice. Uh, yeah, seriously, yeah, he gives me he gives me some advice to help me. I mean, uh, why would you not want to learn from the goat, man? So, uh, anytime anybody like that wants to give me advice, I'll, I'll take it in, and uh, it's it's cool to see the guys that you've watched growing up your whole life uh, be able to talk to you on that type of uh, platform. Yeah, I mean, it's excitement, man. Um, when you start the season, you want everybody in the playoffs. You want uh, guys to be there and to enjoy that moment because uh, when you work throughout the year, it can become a grind. And, I mean, we're all professionals and we're we're all playing uh, the, the sport that we love, but the playoffs is what we really are, are, are playing for. And so uh, uh, to get as many guys back as possible and to get healthy as we can, I mean, it gives us the best chance to go out there and uh, do whatever we can to find a way to get a win. Patrick, what are your tools? Are, are, are these accurate throws that, that you're able to do on the run? As you were testing it yesterday, how, how good do you feel about potentially being still able to do that type of stuff? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I feel like I can still do a lot of things. Um, but uh, it's gonna, we'll, we'll see as we get closer and closer, and we'll see during the game. I mean, um, you, can't, you can't fully do exactly what you're going to be in those moments in the game. But uh, all I can do is prepare myself the best way possible. And then when we get in the game, you hope adrenaline kind of takes over, and you can make those throws when you need to. Yeah, you try to go as far as you can and do exactly what you normally do on a normal Wednesday practice. Um, uh, luckily, Wednesday isn't the, the hardest practice of the week, so you kind of get through the motions and you're able to do some stuff and, and move here and there. Uh, today will be another test. It's a little bit harder practice, a little bit uh, more speed. Um, but like I said, you're not going to be able to prepare yourself 100% for the game, but you can do the best you can of putting yourself in those positions. And then uh, hopefully by the end of the week, you're in a, even a better spot that you can go out there and do what you need to do to win. But Bobby, over the years, when you've worked out with him, you know, how has he helped you through these situations where you're able to get back from such a high ankle strain and be able to perform at, at the level that you've been able to perform in practice so far? Yeah, I have a lot of good people around me everywhere. I mean, if you talk about the training staff here, you talk about the, the weight staff here, and then you talk about Bobby. I mean, we do a lot of things to pre kind of preventative stuff, and you can't you can't prevent all injuries. Um, but you can be, you can prepare your body the best way possible so that whenever stuff like this last game happens, you're able to bounce back quickly. And so, um, we've done a lot of ankle and knee and and foot stuff, especially after my last few injuries I've had. Um, and I think that's prepared me to bounce back quickly here and uh, be able to be in a good spot. That hopefully I'm able to go out there and give 100 percent during the game. Patrick, I know you spend a lot of time, you like all, a lot of young people. You're on your phone. You're very aware of what's going on and everything. You have to at some point come across some of the conversation that's coming from Cincinnati. Is that something? You know, what do you do? Do you, put, do you try to block it out? Do you use it as energy, as fuel? What do you do with those things? Yeah, I think different guys use it different ways. Um, I just try to go out there and, and prepare myself to play my best football. I mean, uh, if you're not fired up to play a team that's beat you three times in a row in the AFC championship game, uh, then you're not going to be fired up for any game. So uh, I'm excited to play up against a great football team and try to do my best effort to, to go out there and get a win. On that same front, I, I'm sure you've probably seen people are examining every step you take and a little bit of video out there. Are you aware of that? And what do you think of uh, everyone? <laughs> Social media doctors trying to diagnose what's going on. Yeah, I mean, no one knows unless they get to actually put their hands on it and see it. Um, but all I can do is just prepare my body the best way possible. I mean, I've seen the videos and everything like that of me walking. I don't know what you can really get from me walking. Um, but uh, I think people will see on Sunday where I'm at, and I'll see on Sunday where I'm at. I'm just going to uh, prepare my body the best way during the week to be in the best position possible. Patrick, obviously you don't get a chance to. Have you felt Better as you've gone through this each day. Yeah, you. I mean, you. Have, it's kind of throughout the day. You have highs and lows. I guess you would say. I mean, you. You. You get yourself ready to go for practice. You practice hard as as you can, and then after you're obviously a little bit sore than you were before, you work on it 
and do your treatment and stuff after to, to get in the best uh, shape for whenever you go to sleep and you wake up and do it all over again. So uh, I think progressively I've gotten better throughout the week. Um, and I'm just going to try to keep doing that, keep that same uh, mentality and uh, uh, push it, but then at the same time be ready to go uh, whenever the game, the game comes up. Patrick, I know, I know, you know, for what happened Sunday, going into this week's game, how much conversation have you had with your linemen or the coach staff has had with your offensive line? Let them know whatever happens, don't let Pat get touched. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think they have that mindset every game. Um, but, uh, I mean, they'll be a, it's a great challenge for them. I mean, not only uh, – uh, me having this injury and everything that 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 comes with that, but at the same time we're playing. They're playing against a great defense, um, and so uh, for for them, I know they're excited for the challenge. Uh, go up against a great football team and a great defense, um, and I'll do whatever I can to help them out as much as I can, and uh, do whatever I can to help our team out have success. Um, I th yeah, I think, um, I mean, I always do it in a sense, but obviously this week will be a little bit different. Uh, I'll give a feel for how I feel about each, each and every play. If, if it's a play I think we can utilize or if it's a play that I think maybe I might, it might not put me in the best position, I'll let them know that. And so uh, uh, you do that in every game plan, but obviously this week's a little bit more important to let those guys know what I'm comfortable, what, uh, comfortable with. But it's hard when they have those great plays up there sometimes. You want to make sure you can get those plays ran, especially when you're playing a great team. Yeah, you get here pretty early, and you, you do some treatment, um, and then you kind of go to your meetings. You come back, and uh, I have a lot of media this week, so knocking the media out, then do some rehab and stuff like that to prepare yourself for practice. Uh, get treatment, treatment after practice, after you're watching film and stuff like that, and then uh, you kind of you do a little bit more rehab, and you go home. You, uh, you get in all the different – they have like 8,000 different devices you can use uh, before you go to sleep. Um, and you wake up and do it all over again. So, I mean, it's a, full, it's a full day schedule. So I try to just make sure that I can prepare my body the best way possible. And Brittany's taking that mom role even to a higher level this week. I haven't been home, I haven't been home a ton. James, Patrick, you've talked a lot about kind of how things change each and every maybe you play with the defense you're, you're going against. And you guys have a really good dialogue with your, your, you and your coaching staff. What is that process like through a game as you're seeing things and they're seeing things and you're going to try to make those, you know, in-game adjustments Yeah, it'll be a great challenge this week um, because I mean they change coverages a lot. They never seem like you can. You never seems like you can get a real good feel for what they're in. They like to just keep throwing different pitches at you, and uh, that's what makes them such a great team. And that's what's going to make it such a great game. Is uh, we have a lot of great offensive minds, and uh, on, on our side of, on offense, and we're going to make sure we're going to try to throw different pitches at them, and they'll do the same to us and all their defensive coaches and defensive players that they have. And so uh, it becomes a, a great matchup between two great teams, um, and that's what you want in the AFC Championship. Patrick, you know, I know last year the big thing was the shell defenses and trying to take away the deep stuff from you and make you guys work a little harder going down the field and, you know, kind of evolve that way, the number one offense mm -hmm. again, doing that. Uh, how is it, is it a tough thing? I mean, you've said you, you, know, you always want to hit that home run. That's always your mindset. But mm -hmm. you have had to maybe be a little bit more disciplined. Did you, was there a moment where you felt like it was clicking in and it was easier, more comfortable for you to make those decisions to take what they're giving you? Yeah, I think it started early in training camp, uh, just kind of uh, figuring out the best way to to execute the offense with the the new new set of guys that we have. And uh, it's, I mean, I've got a lot of different coverages this year. Uh, I've had to adapt kind of on the fly and make make more and more progressions as a quarterback. And I'll continue to do that. So, uh, uh, like like you said, when they when they're in their their deep coverages, I have to continue to hit the checkdowns, continue to hit the underneath stuff. Uh, but when they give us opportunities, I have to be able to hit those as well. And so that that's what. Uh, that's what makes this game so great. You can never be uh, stagnant with where you're at. You have to continue to evolve both ways.